Unless there is a total collapse by both teams over the rest of the season, the Serie A title will be won by Juventus or Lazio. It would be a ninth straight title for Juventus or a third for Lazio, and its first in 20 years. There is an expectation the experience and strength of Juventus will guide the Bianconeri to the 36th Serie A crown in club history. But that would also be writing off a Lazio team that has put itself in prime position, just one point behind Juventus, and has shown dogged determination. Everybody is looking at what we are doing, so we have to be humble enough to take it one match at a time with the same desire, determination, energy and aggression we had these past four months. Modesty and hard work might be two elements of Lazio's season so far. Yet there has also been quality, certainly in terms of results, losing twice in the first five games of the Serie A season, but now 21 unbeaten ahead of the reboot. Indeed, Lazio has twice beaten Juventus, once in Serie A and once in the Supercoppa. And there might be an argument the best team is second on the table. After 26 games, Lazio has fewer losses, more goals and a better defence than Juventus, which has the most important thing, most points. I think you should always stay humble, because there are always matches to play. At the same time, we need to be aware that we are doing great things. Unlike its title rival, Lazio is out of Europe and out of the Coppa Italia, leaving it to focus on the run-in of the Serie A season. That can surely only be a positive for Lazio. Still the underdog in the title race, Lazio is primed for the job of delivering just the third Serie A championship in club history. Thanks for watching. For all your major news, latest results and in-depth analysis from across the football world, make sure you hit the subscribe button.